Hey, and welcome to my journey. And this journey starts really getting to the nitty gritty today. Today is the first day of my pre-op diet. And we know that that is leading up to gastric bypass surgery. Two weeks, I have to eat a specific way and it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to do it. But I told you I would come on the first day of that diet and take you along, let you see this whole two weeks. I'm, I'm going to show you every single day what I ate that day so you can get a feeling for what you have to do. Now, I know some people, um, they've told me they had to go on a two-week liquid diet. So that would be rough. Two weeks before liquid and then two weeks after liquid, that would be rough. I think I got it rough, but that would be even harder. So um, I wanted to tell you today how much I weigh because I want to see how much this portion of the um, journey, how much I lose because there's no way I can eat as little as I'm going to eat and not lose weight. It's just not possible. So I weighed in this morning at, I didn't even write it down, 335.6. So for my week of food freedom, that was 7.6 pounds. That's what my freedom cost me. My freedom cost me 7.6 pounds. And you know what? It's not the 10 or, or more that I thought it was going to be. For what I ate, I ate like I was going to the electric chair tomorrow <laughs> I ain't even lying to you I mean I ate I, I I didn't even eat all my little Debbies can you believe that I did not eat all my little Debbies I can't eat them now the little Debbie's gone she she don't she's on vacation she's on permanent vacation well I ate everything else you can imagine I mean I got in my favorites ate the things I wanted, ate as much of it as I wanted, and to me, 7.6 pounds was a bargain, and I plan on losing that at least this next two weeks. But here's what happened. What had happened was, when we went to Golden Corral Sunday, the two things, do you remember, well, there was two things that I specifically was going for. Two things. Oh, let me tell you, I've got my menu planned for this week. I worked in two cups of coffee. I'm having my first one with y'all. My second one doesn't come till this afternoon in my snack. So that's a big adjustment. I mean, I could drink all, all the black coffee I wanted, but I don't drink black coffee. I have to have a little bit of body to it. So I measured out my creamer, my, my low fat half and half. The nutritionist said that was fine. She um, assured me that was fine. She, would, she did not have a problem with that. As long as it fit in my protein and my carbs and my calories, she was okay with it. Let me enjoy that. <laughs> While it's still relatively hot. But I thought we would have my coffee together. So, I go to Golden Corral looking for, number one, the jumbo fried shrimp. I wanted it so bad. That's one of the things when we go, and we very rarely go. I mean, very rarely do we go. That's one thing we go for. And then David always goes for steak. The second thing that I always get, the chocolate chest pie. Those two things is what I wanted to give that food funeral to. I wanted to get that fat and that sugar out of the way. Guess what they didn't have? They didn't have the jumbo fried shrimp. And they didn't have the chocolate pie. So, Golden Corral was a big letdown. They had popcorn shrimp, which I ate. Was not the same. Not even close to being the same. And then I had banana pudding and um, some little chocolate chip cookies. So, so not the same. I did not get my fix. I did not get my Golden Corral fix. Well, then yesterday, the last day, 
you know I already told you it was going to be Whataburger for lunch. I knew that. And then when I made my menu, I'm like, okay, it's got to be Sunny's for supper. Those are like my two top favorite restaurants, right? Went to Whataburger. We went set up there under the thing, you know, where you drive in. Ate. It was delicious. It was what I wanted. It was perfect. Super happy that I got my Whataburger on. I go to put my Sonny's order in, and I have found out from a past experience, if the item is not on the online menu, that means they ran out of it. Y'all know what I get at Sonny's. I get the ribs. That's what I get. I don't get anything else. Unless it's my birthday and they give me a uh, something for free, like the past few years it's been that Carolina sandwich, that sweet Carolina sandwich which is really good, but it's not ribs. And that's what I wanted from Sonny's. So I go to put the order in. I put David's in what he wanted first. And I went and put mine in. I searched ribs. Well, they didn't come up. Baby back ribs come up, but that's not what I eat. I eat those St. Louis sweet and smoky ribs. Didn't come up. I typed ribs. I typed St. Louis. I looked through the menu. I mean, I scoured. They were not there, so they were out. Sonny's was out of ribs on my very last meal before today. So I just said, forget it. Went right. I was not going to drive that far to get something that I was not really wanting. I just wasn't going to do it. So I just went over here to KFC, got some chicken. Ain't what I wanted, but I ate it. I ate a leg and a thigh, some taters, and a, and a gravy biscuit. Told David, I said, if I don't eat the rest of my chicken tonight, you can have it tomorrow. So today he's got some chicken because I didn't even, he's got chicken and taters and biscuits because I didn't even finish it. Nope, I did not. I ate the rest of my ice cream and then that was that. So I woke up about one o'clock, I think. Yeah. And I ate some oatmeal cookies. Got that out of the way. So, because I counted that still yesterday. This morning, when I got up, I'm like, oh, I want my coffee. No, don't get your coffee because you can't drink it the rest of the day until this afternoon. So I saved it because I've been up since 4, 4.30, something like that. I saved it and saved it and saved it until I come on here to talk to y'all. <laughs> get your cup. Let's have a sip. I like having my coffee with y'all. So today... I have already filmed my coffee and I will film the rest of the day what I eat so you can see it has to we've already gone through this but I'll go through it again since this is the first day it has to be under a thousand calories it has to be no more than 50 carbs and making my menu I can tell you those carbs come from vegetables and like there's just a, a few carbs in the coffee creamer. Um, there's no carbs. Was there any carbs in my protein drink? If there was, it was one or two or three. I don't know something. Anyway, my, my protein powders and drinks, they all follow the proper formula. It has to be protein divided by carbs. And that has to be four or or less four or less hold on let me look at my paper okay I had to get it because I was getting all confused I did the formula with them and I know that they work you have to have 20 grams of protein or more per serving and then it has to be 5 grams of um, carbs or less so that's for the serving size to figure out if the number of carbohydrates is too much you have to do the protein divided by the total carbs, not the net carbs, the total carbs. It has to be four or higher. That means there's not um, too many carbs in your protein drink. So what I have is I have Fairlife chocolate, which is okay. I have Premier Protein peanut butter and chocolate, which I do not like. I'm going to cut it with oat milk stretch it out with a cup of oat milk and see if that will help it 
here's the thing. You can drink, she told me, she said, if, if you don't like your protein drink, if you want to mix it with 32 ounces of coffee, you can. As long as you drink that coffee, you still get the same protein. So you're not watering it down. The only way you're watering it down, if you mix extra liquids with your protein powders or your protein drinks, or if you don't drink the whole amount of liquid. That's from the nutritionist. That's not from me. That is from the nutritionist. So if you have protein powders or drinks that you're not very fond of, but you don't want to waste them, you don't want to throw them away, if if you like almond milk, mix it with a, a big old glass of almond milk to, to stretch it out. Add as much coffee as you want to add. Just be sure to drink the whole amount. So what I'm going to do, because I don't like... Um, sugar-free coffee. I don't like coffee that um, sugar-free. So I'm going to mix it with that oatmeal that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And I figured a cup in because I figured all my everything I needed to figure when I was doing it, I was doing all the you know balancing and I can get by with a cup. So that's what I'll mix with the Premier Protein. And then I got so far I got Quest Vanilla milkshake vanilla milkshake i've not tasted it yet and then i'm going to order this week quest chocolate and quest cinnamon or cinnamon roll i don't know what it's called they also have a salted caramel but i'm not a big salted caramel fan so i'm not going to waste my money on that but you can order it through walmart groceries and as long as you're over 35 dollars in your whole amount whether it's stuff that need to be shipped or stuff that you can pick up then they'll ship it for free and I'm going to tell you what, their stuff gets here quick and through FedEx. They don't mess with the post office, honey. Listen, the post office has gotten terrible. That's not why we're here, but I'm going to tell you right now, the post office has gotten terrible. They is hardly anything I get in the mail that doesn't have a dent or a rip or a smash in it or something. Like, I got a box from Joan. I mean, a big box of books. The box was obliterated and the books were gone. They delivered that box to me in a plastic bag that said received this way. So somewhere between New Jersey and North Carolina, somebody got my books. <laughs> Don't tell me that they did not notice that box tore up that much and see those books spill out and know to put them in another box. Don't tell me. You'll never convince me. So, the fact that they ship FedEx and it's in a nice um, box, all taped up real nice and uh, protected inside. So, Walmart does really good on their shipping. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you who else does good on their shipping. That's Vitacost. We order vitamins from there and we get David's tart cherry peels from there. And I think they come from somewhere just right up here, real close to us. It's like Vitacost and Kroger's and I don't know. There's like a whole bunch of them that are under the same umbrella of I don't know what company, but they're all their names are on the box when they ship it. You can order one day and we've got it the next. And it's coming from, I think maybe Lexington or somewhere. So they have a um, warehouse around here somewhere, but their stuff comes fast and oh, so nicely packaged inside. And theirs does not come U.S. Post Office either. So pretty much everything you get that's really nice comes UPS or FedEx <laughs> or Amazon. Amazon sees your stuff really well. So anyway, anyway, I'm going to order those two this week. And they all fit the formula, so they they all work out good. My um, menu, I'm not going to go over it because I'm going to show you every day what I eat. So I'm not going to sit here and read to you since, like... The breakfast every day will be a different protein shake. My afternoon snack, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, snack, supper. Because y'all know we eat our supper at 8 o'clock at night. And so I normally go over there and it's not long until I go to sleep. And that's too late to have another snack. I'm not going to sit up and try to stay awake just to have a snack. But I'm not going to go between lunchtime at 12 and supper time at 8 o'clock and not eat. So there's three snacks and three meals, and that's what they have in their um, paperwork when they give you a sample menu for this um, two weeks. 
So that's how it's going to go. So my afternoon snack will be the same thing every single day. One of my afternoon snacks. A cup of coffee. That'll be my, my second coffee. And two cups of almond milk. Because y'all know how I love my almond milk. I had to work it in there. I had to work that almond milk in there. As opposed to some food. Which there's hardly any calories. Like 30 calories. 32 calories. Uh, let's see. I think it's 60 in two cups. Because I mean I wanted to have enough to drink. One cup was not going to do it. 60 calories. And just. Um, I'll tell you. I will tell you. 72 calories in two cups of almond milk. Two carb, two proteins and two carbs. So I had to, I had to put that in the mix because I love my almond milk and it soothes my mouth. Now there are um, some of these days there's room for calories a lot, and I might could squeeze in one protein and one carb if I need a, a cup of almond milk here or there. Like actually I could check my numbers now have a cup sitting in the fridge so when my mouth gets all dry i could just take a sip and just sip on that cup all day which you know what i think i might do because i got all my totals written down so i know what i'm going to eat every day some people they well they have trackers i have the healthy app you can track on an app or you can track on paper however you want to track it that is up to you I've got it tracked on paper. I sit back here. I'm a menu planner. Oh, it's like pulling teeth. But this week, it was like pulling hair. <laughs> Trying to get right in that sweet spot of those numbers that they want you to have, right? Well, I think I can go back and look at my totals and see that I have room on all accounts, there's only one day I went over a thousand calories and it was a thousand and two. And I was not going to quibble over two calories and redo that menu. No, 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 no. Some days I will eat what David's eating, except for without the starch. We can have no starches on this diet. Zero, none. No, no starch. No starches, breads, taters, beans, sugar, none of that. So, like, we're having chicken quesadillas one day where I make the quesadilla meat, season it up, and then I'll put his on a couple tortillas to make a quesadilla, and I'll just eat the meat. And it's not much meat, two ounces. So when I make him chicken, I would just make him like two instead of making three chicken breasts what I used to make two for him one for here one for lunch at work and then one for me I'll just make two and just cut two ounces off of one of them he said that was fine by him he said I didn't need to make a whole one because he, we didn't need to have it left over and he didn't need to eat it so he was fine with having like one and three quarters of a, <laughs> a chicken breast or, or the same goes with a hamburger patty just you know cut off two ounces of it that would work fine by him or just start with a smaller amount and just make a little two ounce patty so I've got it figured out I'm look I made me a little sheet I've got it figured out what I'm gonna eat every single day every meal every snack I go see the nutrition I go see the surgeon Thursday and I see the nutritionist Friday so I will more than likely take that and show it to her and make sure she's okay with it which I'm going to eat it up until I see her because obviously I won't see her before today so I have to you know go by my own but I think as long as my numbers are in line it's going to be okay and I'm not eating the things I'm not supposed to eat the carbs because not eating those are the thing that strengths your liver and that's what they're trying to accomplish so, that is where we are today. So, the rest of the day, I will take you along and show you what I'm eating. Like I said, you'll see what I'm not eating. <laughs> now, I do not, let me, let me say this part. 
I'm not showing you this to recommend this to anybody. You have to go this low on the advice of your doctor. This is under doctor's orders. This is not me trying to lose weight on some crash diet. This is a medically necessary diet. So I'm not saying, oh, look at me. Look, I'm losing weight and I'm doing it by eating less than a thousand calories and doing this and doing that. You should do the same thing too. No, sir. Don't y'all put that on me. If you do this, that's of your own volition. It is not from Miss Kim. <laughs> Kim is not telling you to do that. No way, shape, or form. So, anyway, that was it. What did I tell you? 7.6 pounds. I think I've gained 20 pounds since July. Mm -hmm. Because that's when I started not caring what I ate. Had some food funerals back then. Then I stopped, but I just ate too much, you know. And then this week, last week I stayed the same, which was cool. And then this week, I expected more. I did. I expected a whole lot more, um, considering what I ate. My belly's crowding right now. <laughs> Listen, I will tell you this. Me and David were talking when we were at the Golden Corral, and which normally we don't do a lot of talking when we eat. We just eat. <laughs> <laughs> we sometimes sometimes we'll have something to talk about and other times we just eat we, we just on a mission and that is just to get our food down and if we want to talk we'll talk after we eat we'll sit there and chew the fat thin well we were talking and I said you know what I said the way I've been eating if I weren't headed towards a surgery if I didn't know that was coming, if I would just fell off the rails, and, and this was just falling off the rails, knowing I had to get back on the rails of my own, my own doing, of my willpower and my just saying no, which I, I've got to have willpower and say no after this. I'm not saying I don't, because if somebody tells me this is the easy way, pow, right to the kisser. <laughs> don't say it. This is the hardest thing I will ever do in my life. But if I had to get back on, let's say, Weight Watchers or low carb or calories or just pick, pick anything you want to pick and do it myself, it would take me, oh my gosh, it would take me forever to get my mojo back because I have fallen off the rails so hard. Now that I eat more, I, I want more. The, the more you eat, the more you want to eat. That The more sugar you eat, the more sugar you want to eat. The more fat you eat, the more fat you want to eat. The more carbs you eat, oh my gosh, the more carbs you want to eat. So, this is a crash course today. I have to get back on track. But if I was doing it on my own, I would just be like, Oh, well, I'll do it, but I need to slink into it. I would slink into it for probably a month before I would ever get back on track. That's how bad I went off the rails. So try not to do. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't go off the rails just thinking, oh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go off the rails. I'm going to just do what I want. You can take a break, but don't go crazy. Y'all know. <laughs> what? what was her name? Uh... Sh Shaquita on um oh you know the comedy show Shaquita well she worked in the King Burger I think it was called the King Burger she would be talking on her thing and she said welcome to King Burger where you can have it your way but don't don't go crazy <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about look it up she's funny oh my gosh she's funny she's like root <laughs> oh, she's funny. Um, so if you do take a break, don't go crazy because you're just making it harder on yourself. You're, <clears throat> you're having fun then, but then you've got to come to a screeching halt at some point. That's what's happening to me. I, I have come to a screeching halt, which I knew what I was doing because my screeching halt 
is changing my food habits forever. For the rest of my life, my food habits are going to be changed. My relationship with food, I'm going to have to work through that. And what I eat and how I eat it is forever changed from this day, today, that I'm sitting here looking at you forward. You have the um, option of still indulging in that sweet treat every now and then or eating a little bit more and then you see what I'm saying I'm not saying you have it easy because if it was easy I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now it wouldn't have taken me four and a half years to lose what I lost before I gained the 20 back so it's not easy and I'm not saying that I'm just saying what I'm trying to tell you is if you if you get off track Try not to get off track like I did purposely. I purposefully, I did what I did. I did it willingly, on purpose, with a goal in mind. A goal of getting all that stuff out of my system because I won't have it again. You can have it again. So don't go out there thinking, I'm going to get all this out of my system because I can't never have it again. You can have it again. Just have it have it um, with smarter choices. Uh, um I don't know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I don't want you to go so far off track that it takes you a month to get back on track. If you take that break, if you fall off, if you have an accident, I want you to get back up and I want you to go right back for it. I don't want you to have to be in my position. I put myself here. I got where I got by eating the way I ate. I got pushed, come to shove. I had to, you know what, or get off the pot. That's why I'm doing this surgery. I'm desperate because I can't do it on my own. Some of you think, why don't you just shut your mouth and quit eating? Well, guess what? It's just not that easy. I need a stronger tool than any of the other tools that I've used. And the strong tool I need is this gastric bypass. I need more help that I seem to can help myself. And if that's a crime, then put me in jail. If it's a crime to not be able to handle your own food and your own diet and lose weight, if, if you can do it, that's good. But don't assume because you did it and it was easy for you and you just... Um, turned your back on this and turned your back on that. Don't assume that it's easy for all of us because all of us, it is not easy. This was not an easy decision that I made. I don't even know why I'm sitting here crying, but I am, so I ain't cried in front of y'all in a long time to deal with it. <laughs> this was not a, a, a lighthearted decision to make. I put myself here now. This is the way I know to get myself out. So try not to put yourself where I am. Try not to get yourself where I am. Do better. Do better than me. Do better than... Do better than me. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, well, I am going to go finish my coffee and... After you see that, you just see whatever's next in my day. So, thanks for um, putting up with this. It's been a long time. Probably won't be the, listen, I'll probably be crying by 3 o'clock this afternoon because I'll be starving to death. <laughs> so, that is all for now. And the rest of the video, you'll just see what I ate for today. So, that's it. First thing of my day is my cup of coffee. And this is, I thought I'd show you my Halloween junk journal. Instead of covering it like I did last year with fabric, I just wanted to go ahead and use the Halloween crunch box just as it was. And this year, I decided to sew in my signatures just so they would hold a little better. And my tassel... I'm, I have some little bottles that I'm going to add to it. There, I, I have a spooky, different ribbons, and there's a boo here somewhere. Boo. 
but I have some little bottles that I'm going to put some stuff in, like little teeny tiny bottles with a cork on it. And I'm going to put some stuff in that, and I'm going to tie those on there. I just haven't done that yet. And it's very um, empty. Well, I did put a skeleton in, skeleton in there, but you can see it's just very, very empty. So I have a lot of decorating to do. I mean a lot. So that's what I'm working on. But anyway... There's the first thing of the day. One of my two cups. Breakfast this morning is a Fairlife protein drink. Now, I'm thinking, the first time I bought these, they were delicious. And I think I bought chocolate milk. I think I do. I, I think I did because these just have a bitter aftertaste to me. But I blended it with six ice cubes to give it a little bit more body. I wanted to use my knockoff blend jet, but it had sat on the counter too long and the battery ran down. So I've got it charged, and hopefully I can use it tomorrow. But I'm going to have that while I'm sitting here in that lovely look, editing the video that you're watching now. So this is breakfast, and snack will be at 10 o'clock. This is 8 o'clock. Snack will be at 10 o'clock. Well, if y'all know me, y'all know if I don't have eggs, it don't hold me. So woohoo, it is finally snack time. I am having a cup of cucumbers, and yes, that is a cup. I measured them. When you pour them out, it's... Is a lot more than you think and then this is one cheese um, square whatever you want to call it this is the Gouda it's that Arla cheese from Sam's Club they have Gouda and they have Havarti so I cut it into little pieces so I wouldn't just cram the whole thing in my mouth and then I'm also going to have a sugar-free lime jello so here is my lunch a salad I have two cups of shredded lettuce I don't have um, quite a fourth cup of onions because I didn't have that many cut and I didn't feel like cutting another one so I'm still gonna count it and then a half a cup of cucumbers and two ounces of ham I'm sorry and then I have four tablespoons of the Olive Garden light Italian because I need to have enough on there to taste and it worked into my macros so we're good to go so that is lunch today oh I'm having a late lunch because I ran out to the half price, no, not half price, that's tomorrow. The Senior Citizen Day today at Salvation Army. I'll show you what I got after I eat, and then I ran to Trader Joe's for a few things, not much. So I'll show you that after I eat. So here's what I found at the um, Senior Citizen Day. It's this Crock-Pot Little Dipper. There's two of them. This one, somebody had tore it open enough to where I could tell that the lid was in there. This one is still in the styrofoam and the plastic bag and everything. So this one is brand new, unless somebody used it and really wrap it back up really well. <laughs> but I got both of these for $6. These are for our party, so I can put cheese dips and chocolate dips, different things like that. That's why I wanted those. And then this is what I got at Trader Joe's. Just some lettuce, because I don't think I'll have enough. It looked really good. And then... I got my broths for this week and next week. So I got the beef broth and the chicken broth. The miso, that's what I went for. It's really good. And these two things, I'm hoping I can eat on soft and pureed stage. They're creamy um, tomato soup. And this is an autumn harvest soup, tomato-based soup with pumpkin and burnet squash. You have to, if it has chunks in it, you have to strain the chunks out. But, I mean, that's easy, easily done. So that is what I got at Trader Joe's. Since it's not time for my second coffee, I'm going to have a cup of tea. This is the one of the fall flavors at the Spice and Tea Exchange. Banana Nut Muffin Herbal Tea. It's really good if you get a chance to get some. So that'll be a little after lunch snack. I'm going to have a little snack. I'm going to have two of these sugar-free popsicles okay for my plan snack i'm having some beef broth with this isopur um, unflavored protein powder i couldn't get it out now you can tell this is beef broth that i warmed up you can tell it's got protein powder in it but i tasted it and you really can't taste it 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 turns it you know a little creamy color but 
it, it's fine. It's fine. I just know I didn't want to have two sweet protein drinks every single day for two weeks. And then I will have my almond milk, my two cups of almond milk from here into the rest of the day. That That is the planned almond milk. I didn't add in that one cup that I was talking about earlier. Well, I'm going to have some sugar-free jello. I can eat out of the container because I'm the only one eating it. So I'm not eating out of something somebody else is going to eat. I won't eat all this. I'm just not going to mess up another dish. Um, I, I keep finding... I'm I'm hungry. I'm not gonna lie. I'm hungry, so I, I keep finding something to um add to it, like you know the popsicles and the sugar-free Jello, which they said is perfectly fine to do. So I'm hoping it'll get easier. This first day has been pretty pretty hard on me. I mean, when you're used to eating so much and then to drop it down, it's a big adjustment, and so. I'm hoping it'll get easier as the time goes. But anyway, I'm doing it. So here is some Jello. Well, I am having my second cup of coffee for the day. It's late, late afternoon. And I'm going to sit here and enjoy this. Now, I'm not going to drink my almond milk because I need to transfer those calories over to my sugar-free treats that I had today. Um... I don't want to make sure I don't go over my thousand. So the next thing you see will be supper. Boy, I have been looking for this supper all day long. A good hot meal. Oh my gosh. You don't realize how much you miss it until you don't have it. But anyway, I have two ounces of chicken breast. I just browned on the stove and then popped in the oven to finish. Half a cup of beets and a cup of green beans. And... I've done what I was supposed to today. I stuck to the plan. I didn't um, cheat on anything. I, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. So I'm quite happy with myself. It was hard. I'm not going to lie. It was hard. But I'm hoping it gets easier as the days go by. So that'll do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you tomorrow for day two.